So back in the old days, I used to run the Antcon Arcade, right? And we're just going to do a cheap little screen grab with a camera. Um, but, you know, let's have some fun. So I used to run the Antcon Arcade, and Flash is basically going to be stripped out of the browsers by the end of uh, 2020, which is, you know, uh, two weeks from now. Less than two weeks. Yeah, it is... Uh, <laughs> there's one, one full week left, right? So, right now, the way you play Flash is you have to enable it. Um, Windows and Microsoft is like, they're like, oh, we're going to take it out. Adobe's like, oh, we're going to make it so you uninstall it. I don't know. They're going to be they're gonna be a pain in the ass about it. But browsers are mostly not going to support it, right? So, to play now, this is in, in Brave. Chrome's the same way. But you can basically allow it to play. And it plays like this, right? The problem with this, of course, is that, again, this is going away. Um, I found this thing called Ruffles. Somebody just sent me an email asking what's happening with Flash. I've heard of this before, um, but I can I, look at what happens here. So you can play. So you can see that it's it's uh, right here. It's Adobe Flash, just like as always. It used to be right click. Now play. You you use the Ruffle extension that you uh, install or uh, add on, as Brave calls it, and you can flip this little thing that says play content, play Flash content in Ruffle. You reload it, and look what happens. This happens. And also, you right-click, and you, you see Ruffle's own thing. So it's playing it, not through Flash. That's pretty cool. And you can play the game. And this is a very old little uh, mini-putt game, kind of generic little Ruffle. You could hear it, you know, speakers behind us. There is one problem, of course. Uh, you look at some games, uh, and... Uh... Yeah, so that's unfortunate. Uh, now, if we turn off Ruffle, you see that this, of course, works. You know? So, I, I saw issues with this. So, this is now in Flash, normal. So, this is working. It doesn't do that weird stuff. Uh, Wonder Putt. Oh, this was a great game, wasn't it? Just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. A bit loud. A bit loud. Let me. Right. And it's not all of them that do this. So this this one looks like it's broken too. This might be because of the sight locking. I license a lot of these games specifically so that they would work on Antcon.com only. That was part of the uh, licensing deal. So that might be a problem because this is a generic old game. Um, now, some of them might work, even if they're, um, these are kind of generic right here, too. This one was licensed, but it might, we don't know how it works. Let's see, does it work? We are in Ruffle. So, it looks like that's not loading either, you know? So, that's a problem. Now, I have, uh, Pale Moon. If you look on the FAQ, Pale Moon is, this is actually an old Java game. Okay, can you believe it or not? This Java has been out of, that's going to be loud. There we go. This has been, this has been, uh, you know, out of, uh, of most browsers for years. And yet, Pale Moon is supporting it. They're saying they're going to continue supporting it. So I'm going to recommend people download this. I'm just thinking out loud here, because unfortunately, nothing seems to have come along that, you know, is 100% easy. You know, I know uh, another site, Armor Games, I t uh, some of their games, I, I took them. You know, they gave them to me, that sort of thing. Uh, very smart people here. They're saying that, oh, we're using Ruffle on the back end, but I don't know how they're getting around site locking or something. I might actually ask about that. You know, it's it's been eight years that I haven't done anything. With uh, with uploading any new games, but you know whatever. Um, I guess it's down to the wire on this. They're they're basically saying that there's there's a server side thing that you can hook into, and I don't know. But if Ruffle doesn't work, let's see here. Where are we? This camera is blocking my view. If this is what happens with Ruffle, uh oh, oh boy, I'm seeing a oh boy, I'm see yeah. <laughs> How long was that there? Not that it matters. I'm just thinking out loud. Who cares? But if this is what happens with these site log games specifically for my site, well, who knows? 
they're going to work on on uh, Pale Moon because they're going to continue supporting Flash. You know. Now this is Java, but notice notice that we could just go here and oh, what's going up? Oh, yeah, all right, I see. So notice, for example, let's see, what were what were we clicking on? Hambo. I remember Hambo. So look, it works. And as long as you get the, I'll, I'll put the instructions in. It's just, I, I, I would have done this before, but it's just, there really was, there really were no instructions where it's like, oh, somebody figured out a, a, a surefire way of playing Flash games. It's just going to be ad hoc of, oh, Adobe blocked this last Flash thing. And then, oh, well, we'll have to roll it back to this one. And, oh, download this browser. Oh, speaking of download this browser, let's get the new version, huh? This will restart Pill Moon, huh? This is how it's done. Impromptu magic. But anyways, that's just me thinking out loud. You know, I kind of wish I could do this faster or, or sooner or whatever, but it's just there it's it's just gonna be an ad hoc process. And, uh, yeah, I guess if you're listening, uh, you know, if you're one of the dozen people listening, because I'm only going to upload this to, uh, yeah, the Antcon of Guerrero channel, do not uninstall Flash, no matter how, how much they tempt you, uh, with Windows updates and Adobe Flash, because these, Windows was threatening to, like, if you, if you do one of their updates that's specifically for Flash uninstalling, you can't ever install it back. Now, that's, you know, whatever. It, yeah, I'm sure there's workarounds around that, but it's just going to be tougher. So that's it. It's it's kind of sad because, again, it's been... Yeah, well, I, I started the site in 2002. I didn't have Flash games on before. At first, it was just Java games in the old days, and... You know, but it's been 2003, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, plus 10. It's been a long time. So this has been around for a long, long time. And, um, yeah, I guess that's it. So I just wanted to do the daily video and, uh, you know, think out loud about next steps for Flash. And, uh, yeah, that's it.